Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Amy and I'm here to teach you some scuba concepts. Today we are discussing the term maximum operating depth, our MOD. So what does this mean? Paul Burt was a doctor during the 1800s and he realised that pressure in general doesn't really affect us physically but rather more chemically. What does that mean? Well, the effects we experience under the water is all due to how our body uses and absorbs gas underwater. In the previous video, we discussed the term partial pressure. We also touched on the fact that the partial pressure of individual gases increases as we descend deeper under the water. This means we're exposed to higher concentrations of these individual gases. Our bodies can only tolerate so much increase in a gas concentration. And so a limit, an acceptable limit, has been set and this limit is known as our maximum operating depth. When we use this term in scuba diving, we are referring to the maximum operating depth of our breathing mixture, more specifically the maximum operating depth of the oxygen portion of our breathing mixture. So how deep can we go with this particular oxygen percentage? In recreational diving, you can enrich the air in your cylinder with more oxygen, you can enrich it with up to 40%. This increase comes with a risk. We have a limit to the increase in oxygen because we can suffer from something known as CNS toxicity, so central nervous system oxygen toxicity. This is where oxygen, that wonderful gas, becomes toxic to our systems. Nitrogen is another concern, which I'll discuss in another video. In recreational terms, we don't necessarily have a maximum operating depth for nitrogen, we have a time limit. Whereas oxygen, we have a depth limit. Nitrogen also does have a depth limit, but that is way, 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 way beyond recreational limits. So oxygen and nitrogen are both toxic to our systems at a certain depth. The maximum operating depth limit differs from different agencies, but it's always in between 1.2 to 1.6. But the average scuba diver uses 1.4 as their limit, with 1.6 being a contingency for any errors that may happen under the water. These numbers refer to the measurement of the partial pressure of oxygen. An oxygen partial pressure of 1.4 means the oxygen part of your breathing mixture is being exerted at 140%. It is being exerted at this pressure due to the surrounding pressure, the ambient pressure. So as at sea level, when we're experiencing one bar, the oxygen in the air we breathe is being exerted at 0.21, 21%. Always remember that our gas mixture needs to be exerted always equal to its surrounding pressure i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you have any questions at all please put it in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time